welcome back to another session of Core Java Tutorials. Today we'll see what is the difference between if, else and switch. Uh, let us just look into the syntax first. Uh, coming to the if, so I'll be having an if and then condition. If this condition is evaluated to be true, then statement 1 is executed. If the condition is evaluated to be false, then else will be executed. So this is the syntax of if and else. Coming to the syntax of switch, so I'll be having a switch and then an expression and this expression is matched with the values over here so I can have n number of cases here and this expression will be matched with the values. If any one of the value is matched then the consecutive statement will be executed of that particular case. For example, if this expression is matched with this value then the statements here inside this case will be executed and a break will follow after that statements. If none of the cases are executed, then the default case will be executed. So this is the syntax of switch. Now another difference between if, else and switch is that the switch if and else will be executed based on the condition in the if. So whatever expression we are writing, so that will be evaluated during runtime. So the outcome of that we don't know based on the values or the expression values that we give it decides during runtime like which of the if is executed or else if is executed and else if what in the ladder of else if what which if is executed we don't know. So that is this point and it is called as two way selection okay so if not if then else is executed. So that, that's why it is called as two way selection. Now coming to the switch, like uh, the input into the switch is based on the user's input because this is generally used in menu driven programs. So user will be able to give the input and select the cases based on the user's input then the particular cases will be selected. So based on the user's input a particular case will be executed and this switch is called as multi-way selection because for one expression there will be many cases to be evaluated and whichever case is matched then that case is evaluated. So switch is called as multi-way selection. Okay now coming to another difference is that in the uh, if conditions uh, there will be logical and equality expressions okay so it includes the expressions in the if will be having both logical and equality expressions but that is not the case with switch there in switch there will be only uh, single expressions and only equality will be checked okay so we'll be checking only for equality there will be only one single expression and the outcome of that expression will be matched with the values of the cases and how it is matched it will be matched only for the equality and the next difference is the, uh, is the, what are the data types primitive data types that we can use in the conditions now all primitive data types are valid inside an if okay but the outcome of the condition e e evaluation of the expression should be boolean but we can use uh, all integral type, floating type, char, all this, even boolean, all these types we can use in the evaluation. But the outcome of all these expressions should be a boolean type. Next, coming to um, a switch, what should be the expressions inside the switch? The expressions should be like, they should be integral, char, strings and enum. These are the types that are in, uh, that can be inside the expressions and strings were not there earlier to J2AC7. Strings were added into uh, into the uh, switch statements in J2AC7. Okay, so this is another difference. And uh, next is uh, else acts as a default statement like it needn't also. But uh, generally in good programming practices what we'll do is we'll make else to hold the default statements. Default statement means that none of the uh, conditions in the el if else ladder matched. If none of the conditions in the if else ladder matched then we'll be saying we'll be putting the output in the else. Okay so that, that's for the good programming practice we generally do that. In switch then we have another uh, thing to hold the uh, default things is the default label. Okay so it is generally put like this default followed by a colon and this is not optional but we generally give it because uh, we don't want to miss any 
uh, any communication with the user we we want to give um, a proper communication to make proper communication to the user we put the default uh, uh, statements in the default label uh, default label will be executed in switch if none of the cases have executed okay then or matched then the default label will execute and next is changes are very difficult to be made in case if i'm having very huge or large chain of um, lc ladder then making difficult uh, the changes in the in one lc might affect the because it's the expression includes so many data types and it includes logical and equality operators in it so making changes to one lc condition may affect the previous or the next lc so and also the readability of the code is very low when we are using if else uh, uh, statements so the changes are very difficult to be made in case if it is a very long chain of uh, lc ladder changes are very easy to uh, make in switch cases because the uh, so syntax of uh, uh, switch case is uh, so easy uh, that whatever changes that you want to make you can make it easily and another reason is because the compatibility of the expression with the values is there so it is very easy for you to make changes and the next one is efficiency drops with increase in the ladder that's what i said like the speed of execution drops why the speed of execution drops in if else and compared to switch then the efficiency compared to if else ladder switch efficiency or speed of execution is more i'll just try to tell you one point over here now what happens here is in uh, uh, while executing uh, 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 switch what happens is the compiler will be uh, creating a jump table okay so there will be a jump table that will be created by the compiler this jump table uh, depends on uh, the implementation of the jvm okay so uh, so whenever it has to make a comparison because there is only one equality check over here so comparisons looking at the jump table will happen much on a speeder rate compared to the if else because in if else we don't know what the condition expression includes and uh, making all those calculations and then uh, uh, drawing out the conclusion whether it is true or false is much slower so that's what i meant over here and another one, one very important point that we need to remember is that um, if you want to switch with the strings then the speed is slow why why we are saying like it is slow is because comparing switch is very costly operation in java and uh, comparing integers is very fast so whenever you need it's a must that you have to use strings other than that there is no go then you use strings inside your switching other than that try to prefer using integral types because integrals are anyway compatible with 64 bit architecture and 32 bit architecture so it is obviously very speed uh, for uh, the system to make calculations and uh, uh, th th this is one more thing and another one thing is like uh, generally it is an observation from the programmers that whenever you are having uh, uh, LC ladder uh, for more than 5 uh, LC uh, uh, conditions like if the LC ladder the size of the LC ladder is more than 5 then it is good that you switch you convert that logic into switch uh, because you because we already said like uh, it is efficient in switch and it is much faster so if you're having an lc ladder whose size is more than five then it is if possible it is good that you switch it into switch cases so these are all the differences between if else and switch my friends hope this video is worth watching and this is very important for your uh, interviews placements and also for your university examinations stay home stay safe happy learning bye